And tonight, thousands of mourners are lined up in the wee hours of the night in London, waiting patiently for their turn to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. This is a live look now at Westminster Hall, where the Queen will lie in state until her funeral on Monday. Earlier today, the Queen's coffin in an elaborate military procession made its way through central London. King Charles, his siblings and sons marching behind. Our Christine Johnson live tonight in London with more force. And Christine, a lot of people there tonight. Looks at four o'clock in the morning. That's really something to see. It really is, Maurice. You know, the public viewing began about 11 hours ago, and there has been a steady line ever since. Currently, the line just under three miles at 4 a.m. London time. And, you know, the palace does have a YouTube channel right now for people to keep up with how long the line is and where the back of it is, so those wanting to join will know exactly where to go. So let me just give you a quick idea of how this works. Right over there, is the Lamberth Bridge, and people actually have to go across the Thames to get over to Westminster Hall. And the line comes this way. Let me show you right around. Joe can uh, swing the camera back over here, Joe. And we'll take a little walk to just give you a little glimpse of how these folks are standing here along the Thames River just past 4 a.m. so that they can see their queen, give her, sh show their respects give her their blessings and from this point I was told by military police that it is about a four-hour wait just from this point so if you don't mind chatting with me very quickly I know you guys have been in line for quite some time how long have you been here in the queue um, since 1025 yeah all right yeah so what is that about five hours uh, five and a half nearly yeah. six hours yeah what has it been like it's been okay it's, it moved I mean we got stuck for an hour just at the top of the stairs there um, but it's been fine you talk to people <laughs> and what is the mood here how are you feeling it's unbelievable I think and I think everyone feels the same you know it, it's, it seems unreal that we're queuing for this reason but yet it's so important for you to be here it in is. the wee hours of the morning really to see is. your Queen yes it is yeah yeah I All just right. think it's so sad well, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. We appreciate it. Okay. Best of luck to you both. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, of course, Maurice, earlier today, um, the Queen's coffin did leave uh, Buckingham Palace for one last time, and it was quite the procession that will go down in history. Mourners waited hours in line Thursday night to get the once-in-a-lifetime chance to say goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II. It was my moment with my monarch. Hundreds of thousands are expected to pay their respects at Westminster Hall, where the late monarch will lie in state until her funeral Monday. Mourners say the long lines are well worth the wait. The overwhelming atmosphere was very somber but beautiful. We queued for six, seven hours and then it was over so quickly, um, but inside it was amazing. Earlier Thursday, central London came to a near standstill when the Queen's coffin left Buckingham Palace for the last time. A horse-drawn carriage took her to Westminster Hall in a grand procession. The Queen's coffin draped with a royal flag and topped with the imperial state crown, the same one she wore for her coronation in 1953. Marching behind were the Queen's four children, including King Charles III. Prince William and Prince Harry were side by side, together to mourn their grandmother. The mournful drums of the military band beat steadily, while the bells of Big Ben echoed through the city. Massive crowds lined the streets across central London to honor the Queen's 70-year reign. As the procession approached Westminster, applause from the sidewalk before eight guards carefully carried Her Majesty's coffin inside and placed it in the middle of Westminster Hall. And now begins the long goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II. Christine, we all had to marvel at the precision today, a military operation in the <laughs> truest sense. You had to imagine this took all kinds of practice. 
It certainly did. There were several rehearsals overnight leading up to today. And, you know, they're not done yet. Just a few minutes ago, take a look at what we found here. Right outside of Westminster Abbey, Royal Guards began rehearsing for the funeral on Monday. They could be seen marching with the gun carriage that will be used to carry the Queen's coffin. It was quite, it felt so honored to be able to just happen upon this here tonight, Maurice. And the silence of the hearing their footsteps all in unison was was chilly yeah extraordinary moments christine and it's just getting underway we're going to be around the clock the next several days thanks so much for your reporting we will see you back here tomorrow and do keep it right here with cbs2 and cbs news new york for continuing coverage as we remember queen elizabeth